I think face app punishes really beautiful women because it makes women who aren't quite as symmetrical look like them. And now you can't tell the difference. Where, where do you see it getting unhealthy? Unhealthy? Yeah. First of all, I think stocked on social media and scrolling for hours, that's yeah. already unhealthy for me. Second one, it's uh, stalking people because it's stalking. Yeah, 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 for sure. Stalking. And also yeah. like to put negative uh, comments for me, people, a lot of people asking me how you deal with haters. Yeah. Um, I'm not dealing with them. <laughs> that was one of my questions. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't deal with them very well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I want to tell that they actually motivate me to go further. Because I see the reaction and I'm like, it's like a drug for me. I'm like, okay, if, uh, if you react like this, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. It's not like going to stop me. No, yeah. never, ever. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of hate. And um, if we decide and we choose to uh, use social media platforms, we need to accept it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is hard. I have a, a friend of mine, he's a personal trainer and, you know, he would show, he would talk about macros and, and all these like proper ways to do workouts. And then I would show him all these other personal trainers and they're, they're doing like backflips and hmm. they got beautiful women they're working out with. And I'm like that, what, what you're seeing there is not the way to be a personal trainer, but unfortunately on social media, that's your competition and they're going to take your competition away. You know what I'm mm. saying? They're going to, they're going to take all your clients. So it's like when Lance Armstrong was in the tour de France, he was taking steroids and everyone else in the tour de France was also taking steroids. So it becomes one of these situations and it's an arms race, kind of like what you mentioned before. It's like to be the one girl on Instagram who isn't using face app. Yeah. Yeah. How difficult that must be. Exactly. And you know, what? very frustrated that people don't accept you real they don't want to see you real, like having the wrinkles and they, they want to see you perfect. Yeah. That's the problem of social media. That's why, I mean, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell, but um, I want people to live real life, yeah. to be in the moment. That's the most important. I wish. I don't know that that's going to happen. I think it's going the opposite direction. It's, it's get, crazy. It's pretty fast. It's crazy. You know what's really funny? You know who gets punished the worst? Girls who are actually really pretty. You want to know why? Why? Because like, so it's a really funny thing. So I'll host a bunch of photo shoots and when the photo shoots happen, photographers will come in and I'll be like, and they'll always ask me about this girl with 4 million followers, this girl with 5 million followers, this girl with 9 million followers. And I'll tell them, I was like, Hey man, just like, no, like those photos are from five or six years ago. She's had a kid. Like when you see her, she's not, she's still pretty, but she's not going to look the same. And I'm like, there's this 21 year old girl who's coming in here. She's got 3000 followers. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. Where's the girl with the 3 million followers. No. And then the, and then the girls come in and the 21 year old walks in and, 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 and he's like, Oh my God, who is that girl? She's stunning. And I was like, yo bro, I told you like the thing is with Instagram is like for a lot of people is that the organic period on that platform is over. So a lot of girls who are younger, like some of my friends that all have four, five, six million followers, they're all over the age of 30. And my friends that are like under the age of 25, they can't grow on Instagram anymore unless they're just posting reels or they're doing collabs with like huge influencers. It's the only way to grow organically. Or if you pay using Facebook ad manager, that's like kind of the only way to grow on there uh, anymore. And so it's, it's become this situation where you have a girl and she'll have like, she'll, she'll try to grow on Instagram and her, her aunt, is like has three or 4 million followers and she can never catch up. So she moves over to TikTok instead. And so now you see a lot of younger people moving over to TikTok instead of, you know, trying to, trying to uh, create content on Facebook. But it is a really interesting situation because I think face app punishes really beautiful women because it makes women who aren't quite as symmetrical look like them. And now you can't tell the difference. And also people like all people, the same, you see like yeah. this model and this, you can't even you can't tell the difference. The they all have like the same. The same. Just, yeah. Um, how crazy is it? I don't know if you've seen this. Um, there are now artificial intelligence influencers. Their entire thing is made up. Uh, it's artificial intelligence. Uh, I don't, have you seen this before, Glenn? And they're getting, this is the crazy part, they're getting brand deals. And they're, so it's AI chatbot. So you, what you're seeing is a person that doesn't exist and they're talking using someone else's voice and all the words come out and it sounds normal and none of it is real. All the entire thing is computer generated and they're getting brand deals. That's the part that is absolutely crazy. And for me, it's like, if, um, you know, there, there's what you might call an OnlyFans bubble, right? A lot of girls got into OnlyFans during the uh, pandemic and that grew up, it's $3 billion, $6 billion revenue every year, that's what they do. And I think the thing that may end it may be these artificial intelligence, uh, what were you saying? I was gonna say like, so are you saying like dudes can make up these chicks they are. And, and it's like, almost and entirely and dudes who are doing it. It's almost like entirely like, like the, the, the guys who girls. are making these. Man, okay, so this one girl, she has a Telegram group and she's a real person. 
but she has a Telegram group and it's a chat bot. In her chat bot Telegram group, basically they do what's called a deep fake. So it answers as if it, 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 is it, as if it is her, but it's not her, but it looks like her. Oh my God. And she gets one ninety. Have you seen this? It's like a dollar yeah. ninety nine a chat, and she made two hundred thousand the first week so or something like that. Question is, is yeah. it like the next Andrew Tate status? <laughs> like you know, pretending to be a girl, like you know, the webcam business. Well, I mean, it's that like is. It, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's basically the same thing, but with AI. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I do think. I mean, when you think of co- like your labor costs for artificial yeah. intelligence, <laughs> it's significantly less, right? And then, and then you get into other questions about legality. Like, what is it, like, whose image am I legally able to use? If my artificial intelligence c- comes up with someone's who's, whose face, someone's face, who looks identical to some girl who lives in Vladivostok or some, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way for me to, she's like this stunning girl and she can prove, like, no, this is my face. This is exactly my face. How do you do? What, what's the legal ramifications for that? How do you how do you protect your own IP at that point? Seriously, how do you protect your own like image? You're, you're, that's your own brand, right? Yeah. We live in the brand of me. Yeah. So how do you protect your own image and your own brand if AI could like hack you? That's crazy. Yeah. 